Okay, last question, question 23, is um, we've got a square base pyramid, so with the bottom is square, um, which means that this angle is 90, even though it doesn't look it, that's a flat, when it's flat on the table, it will be 90 degrees. Um, and it wants us to work out this angle in here. So we could find that angle if we knew this length here and this height here. Or, well actually we're told that this length here, this diagonal length here is 6 centimetres. So if we knew if either this blue line or this line here, then we could use trigonometry because again this angle is right angled to work out x. And so that's my plan. But how do we find one of these lengths? I can find the length all the way from A to C because this is a right angled triangle. So I could use Pythagoras. So that's my first step, is to use Pythagoras on the triangle where we've got A here, B here, and C here, knowing that these two numbers are both 4 to get this length here, which is actually the dotty length all the way across. So if I do Pythagoras, that's um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So c is my long one, so I've got 4 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared. So that's 16 plus 16 equals, which is 32. So c is the square root of 32 which I'm not even going to actually work out what that number is because it's going to be easier to work with as a square root rather than the decimal because we want to keep our answer nice and accurate. So this length all the way across here is the square root of 32. So if we now look at um, this triangle, if I redraw that one, So we've got this corner is A, this corner is this middle bit here, which I'm going to I'll call X, let's call that middle point X, and the very top point there, O. We know that this side's 6, and we know that this is half of root 32, so root 32 divided by 2. And our actual question is what is that angle there? We've got a right angle there. So this now, because we're looking for an angle, is a Sokotoa um, method. We've already done a Sokotoa question earlier in the paper. So let's see if you can remember what to do next. Well, I'm going to label the sides. This is my opposite. This is my adjacent. This is my hypotenuse. And I'm going to tick off what we've got. So we've got the adjacent. And we've got the hypotenuse this time. So we're going to use ca or cos. So that's cos x equals adjacent over hypotenuse, which is root 32 divided by 2, all divided by 6. So If we do the inverse cos of root 32 divided by 2 divided by 6, I've got 61 point nine. So that's what we're looking for, 61.9.